Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk about a tweet that I saw on Twitter and felt compelled to respond to. And what it kind of, the gist of it was, I can't remember the exact word was, I've been studying JavaScript for a year and I still feel completely unprepared to apply for any software development jobs. And, you know, as an outsider looking in without knowing too much about the, you know, the particular person, um, this to me looks like, you know, a case of imposter syndrome and it can be kind of tricky. So my response to him and to sort of suggest as a way to get around this was look for people that are like basically less than a year into learning and offer to help them. And, you know, this can, this sort of solves several problems uh, in one fell swoop. You know, the first one being that as you kind of start to work with them and answer their questions, you realize you know more than you thought you did. So the more times you're able to answer their questions, support others' growth, the more confident you are in your own abilities to do the, you know, to, pro to code. Uh, the other obvious benefit is now you've helped someone and, you know, they're going to remember that and potentially be, you know, someone who's going to refer or help you get work in the future. Um, the other is, you know, when you can't ask her a question and you don't know how to help them, it really focuses your own learning because now you've got really direct feedback of, you know, an area that you have a gap. So all of these things just help either give you a feedback that, of positive reinforcement that helps with your confidence, shines a light on your gaps, and also helps build out your network because you've helped people. So it's like a really high output activity to support others along the way and help them come up um, for all those reasons I just discussed. And I'm sure there's many more um, that you can think of, but I, I highly recommend this. And this, like I said, this can, well, not like I said, but um, this can be something that you can apply at any stage in your career. There's always people further back that uh, are struggling with things that you can help in areas with things that you maybe don't have a lot of confidence. So, you know, don't use your lack of confidence as a reason to not do this, use that as like a guide or a cue to do this because I think more often than not, you'll be pleasantly surprised or like I said, you'll have really clear feedback on where you can get better and save yourself a hell of a lot of time. Anyway, you know, if you've got any thoughts on this or you know, maybe any other ideas, I'd love to hear them, throw a comment below. And while we're talking about the subject of imposter syndrome, um, uh, for all of you that don't know, I run a six month mentorship program through my uh, code school called Imposter School and we're hosting a uh, free workshop on overcoming imposter syndrome at work on February 22nd. I'll leave a link in the description below, but if this is something that interests you or you know, you're know you wanting to dig deeper into this and develop more tools in this area, you know, feel free to sign up. We'd love to have you there. Thank you.